Over the course of a year, some people keep a diary. For 10 emerging resident artists at Redline Milwaukee, the exhibition Timeline is the culmination of their creative explorations over the past year. Each artist has notably formed a distinct identity, but their work in the gallery presents moments of cohesion and interesting dialogue. Hi, I'm Kat Morell. Let's go look at this. One of the missions of Redline Milwaukee is to be an active presence in the arts and in the community. Some artists take community issues such as the environment and housing as their subject. The sign that led to a sign by Natalie Schmidting is a stop motion video of decay and desolation, abandoned buildings and the struggle of the landscape to regain lost ground. The changeability has a somewhat sublime quality as the grainy textures seem to allude to the forces of nature as a constant but also changeable force. Lindsay A. Weigel presents a number of pieces that deal with matters of dwelling. At first, it might seem like a sort of utopian architectural idea, the ability to live small in a diminutive trailer, but Weigel proves the point with the footprint marked out on the gallery floor. There is a growing movement for living in smaller accommodations, and Weigel's work brings the conversation into the gallery space, artfully so. Stylistically speaking, a number of the painters on view have an expressionistic quality to their work, particularly in choices of color and dynamics of brushwork. Skelly Gustafsson is playful but smart. His bold works are dense with imagery, evocative of biomorphic shapes, and every now and then, a recognizable shoe admits the layered, translucent colors. Natalie Schmidting also contributes paintings, often with a somewhat more somber, naturalistic palette, but what really energizes her pieces is the play of texture on the surface. Simultaneously, she draws out the quality of the paint and the feelings of trees. Jeff Redmond is also keen on a bright palette, but within the curvaceous contours of black lines holding down the fort. His backgrounds are often a bit softer, cloudier, which presents a floating sense of distance for the solidity of the foreground arrangements. Nina Ganborzade is the most delicate of the artists shown. Working with abstract design and curvilinear text forms, she adopts materials such as light, charcoal, and silver stick pins to create compositions, never losing sight of the airy space afforded by her medium, yet judiciously placed in creation of strong but gossamer forms. There are many other artists to see in Timeline, which is running concurrently with an exhibition called Existentialism, a show that features six young artists from Redline's teen residency program. So make some time, check out these and the other artists in Timeline and Existentialism at Redline Milwaukee. Thanks for coming along. See you again next time when we'll look at something else. <laughs>